Well, it's quite simple for Southampton. No Flynn Downs, no wins. Um, Joe, what has happened? I feel somewhat responsible on this podcast. <laughs> we asked you to lose, but we didn't ask you to keep losing. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too. I'm. I'm all right. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, I don't really know what's gone on. Well, no, I do actually. It's 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 the big old Flynn Downs whole win midfield, um, and the experimenting with Will Smallbone at CDM, which just is a recipe for disaster, as we found out on Saturday. Yeah, we heard it last week. Uh, welcome back to the Southampton View. We're joined this week by your uh, uh, opponents this weekend, which is. Uh... Um, Birmingham City. Good evening, Adam. Good evening. All right. Um, so let's focus on Southampton then, just for a second. Um, this is um, turning into a bit of a, a mini crisis, isn't it? Um, losing to losing to your um, relative promotion contenders is one thing in the whole city, but losing to a team which haven't won in eight games is 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 a little bit baffling, isn't it? Yeah, I mean. Martin came out after the whole game and said that he was angry and disappointed. But then on Saturday, we did the exact same thing. Like nothing, nothing changed from the Tuesday to the Saturday. It was exact same tactics, exact same boring football, passing around the back, this tippy tapping around the box that doesn't get you anywhere. It's just, it's just, it's just ridiculous. And he's too stubborn to see it. I mean, I mean, we could play back videos of you. Um, yes, yes, a month, yes. A month I, ago, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> so, I mean, how much you're enjoying this tippy tappy football? It might be boring, but it's effective. Oh, come on! You can't have it both ways. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The problem when it when it works, it's it is brilliant. It is, but the last few games, it's just something's not clicked, and it's it's. It's difficult to find out what that is. Do you think if Russell Martin had a bit of Sean Dyche in him, you know, you know, let's go direct, let's not mess around here, let's get it up the pitch. If he just had that plan B of going, all right, forget it, we're just going to launch it. Um, do you think he'd be a better manager? Yeah. The problem is he doesn't he doesn't have that plan B. He sticks so rigidly to his plan A of possession, 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 and we come out with the best possession stats in a game. We had eighty one percent of the board against Millwall. And we still lost 2-1. Like, I can't get my head around it. I really, he has no plan B whatsoever. Um, fair enough. Any any qualms with the penalty? No. It, it hit him on the, it, 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 it hit his hand. Like, he, he can say what he wants to hit his face. It, it hit his hand. You can't have your hand up that high. And the ref was looking directly at him. <laughs> There's not much you can really say. No. Um, this weekend, then, how important is it um, the trip to St Andrews to get back into many rays? Because you are now five points cut adrift. Um, any more than that, with the games that you've got left to come and these away trips we've mentioned, um, exactly, it becomes yeah. it becomes an increasing worry that this is going to be you in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean. I am slightly concerned about this weekend, given the fact that the last couple of weeks have gone as they are. Um, but there is, a, if we, if we do lose this, there is a real problem that we could really drop into that playoff mix and really get dragged down into it. Okay. When three, four weeks ago, we were talking about being in second place and it being in our hands. All right, let's get the Birmingham uh, view on this then. Adam, um, Southampton like to have the ball. Um, i like to spray it around a lot. Um, are you, is your Birmingham side a team at the moment that's happy for the opposition to have the ball? Um, yeah, well, I think every time we have it, we kick it straight back to them anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> they can have it as much as they want. Um, yeah, yeah, listen, you don't know what Birmingham City side you're going to get. You're either going to get one that's going to turn up and give 100% or you're going to get one that will just fall apart at any moment and it's just waiting for that moment during the game to happen. Um, usually somewhere along the defence or the something happens. But yeah, we, we just press that self-destruct button so many times during a game. Uh, I'm not I'm not confident this weekend. Uh Joe, what did you make of Birmingham uh in the re- uh, reverse fixture uh of this uh, of this game? 
uh, earlier in uh, in October, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I thought like it was. I think it was Rooney's only second or third game, so it was quite early to tell. But you could clearly see that he had a plan of what he wanted them to try and do, and they were they they did all right. Like it was it was it was okay. Um, well, you won three one. Of course, you're going to say that. It's, yeah, uh... I mean, I mean, a couple of our goals were very fortunate from us, but. Yeah, I thought they they did a they did a good count of themselves. Okay, let's get some core predictions then. Um, Adam, you can go first as you're the home side. Um, what do you reckon? Um, I, just don't, I, I don't see us beating Southampton at the beginning of the season. I tipped them and Leicester to both get automatic. Um, I feel like they're just too strong for us. So I'm going to go two one, maybe three one loss. Gosh, that's gonna that's gonna land you in a bit more of the mire, isn't it, uh, Joe? I think this is the first week where I'm actually going to go for a for a reverse. I'm going to go for a two-one Birmingham win, given how our last few results have, have been. Like, I just I just don't see I don't under, I don't see where what's going to change in these in these last few days. Nothing's changed. Will, will Flynn Downs be back for the for St Andrews? I really hope so. As long as you get yourself injured on Wednesday, on, on Wednesday, then yeah. But I can see it now already. He's going to come back in on Wednesday, get himself injured, and he's going to be out for the rest of the season. Wow. Well, are, whole... are, you, are you guys playing midweek? Yeah, we're playing Liverpool away on Wednesday. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm off change, up there on change, Wednesday. Change your prediction, yeah. <laughs> it, depends what, it, depends what, it depends what team you put out. If you go strong, then I might think we got a chance, but... Mm, um, okay, well, I didn't know that. Well, the whole championship wishes you well against Liverpool uh, on Wednesday, Joe. And uh, <laughs> yeah, enjoy the game uh, at St Andrews. Thank you, Joe. Cheers for joining us. And if you're a Southampton fan and hasn't yet subscribed, please do so. Put your comments below. Listen, what on earth is going wrong with Southampton? And have they blown their chance to get back to the Premier League? Thanks, Joe. Yes. <laughs>